Good afternoon or good morning or night. Whenever you guys are watching this video, hi, this is Kimberly. This is my first YouTube um, video and I kept it simple and I'm just doing a little my basic everyday makeup routine. So first I wash my face, of course. And right now I'm just using like this seaweed um, face wash from the body shop. And this little exfoliator thing that you can get at like Target. And then I live by this stuff, this water cream. I put it before my makeup, before I go to sleep, just every day. And then I tone my face with witch hazel all the time, every time before I do my makeup. I don't know why, just it just feels good, I guess. It just feels right. And then this little cooling gel thing. Everybody uses this stuff. I, I just started, but I like it so far. I put it on before my primer. And then I don't know where this eyebrow pencil is from, but I know you can get it at Sephora. Um, it has three pieces to it. It has like the thin eyebrow piece that I'm using right now. And then it has like a big thick. And then, of course, it has like the little um, spoolie. To like scrub your eyebrows out and then after that I go in with my basics naked um, those two colors right there I've been using this stuff since I was in high school like I really don't I just don't know sometimes I just use the powder alone and I don't fill in with the pencil because I just swear by this stuff. I've literally been using it since high, since high school. I don't know anything that really complements my eyebrows better than those two colors. And then I conceal my eyebrows with NARS. Um, I think that's in one... I think it's like in 1.5 my concealer for my brows and then I use like a brighter I think I use the one or something for my under eyes I'll put everything in the description below because I might be wrong sorry if you can hear my dogs barking well not my dog but the neighbor's dog but yeah, I'm just concealing, concealing, concealing. And obviously the concealing part is what really makes my eyebrows come together. And then this Clinique foundation. I don't know what shade it is in, but I'll, of course I'll put it in the description, like I said. And dot, 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 dot. I just dot it all over my face and I get a beauty blender. And I actually think this is a real beauty blender, not like a knockoff. Actually, I could be lying. I think I have like one real beauty blender and the rest are from Target. And this foundation is the best foundation I've, like, ever had. Um, it's the only one that I could really find that isn't too, too white on my skin. And then after I do my eyebrows, I obviously set them. I forgot to set them before my um, foundation. That's normally what I do. And then I found this technique on Instagram. Like, everybody's been doing, like, the little, like, in the eyes and then, like, the outside corners. So that's what I'm doing right there. I've actually been liking it. It's been working for me because I am one to, like, over-conceal. You guys are about to see how much I really conceal my under eyes. And it's kind of, like, the biggest... I don't know. I think that's, like, the biggest part of my makeup routine is how many times I actually conceal my eyes. I go under my eyes, like, three times. Um, you guys are about to see, but... Yeah, I just... I feel like my under eyes are really, really dark. And even this NARS isn't, isn't enough coverage for me. Well, I mean, yeah, it is, but I just like to go in a couple more times. And there I am using my technique. So my technique is just to pat in the concealer so it doesn't look as creasy. And then I bake. I bake, I bake, I bake. I don't know if I put, um, most of the time before I bake, I actually set my face. So either I'm gonna set my face after or I already did. 
um I don't remember and then I'm taking this naked palette again and I'm kind of just using it the the light color to and then this is a Fenty Beauty and I'm going in with that gold bomb that looks so bomb that that um little palette that I have from Fenty is super warm and I love it and then I forgot the brand of this too but they sell them at Sephora they're like these cute little eyeshadow and they're stacked up like that again with the naked palette I'm using the black maybe to I think yeah to make like a cat eye like a soft cat eye Mm, that looks cute. I do my eyeshadow, like, put on my lashes normally when I am baking. Just because, like, let's say I do have extra eyeshadow that falls or whatever. You can just, like, wipe it right off under. This is a bare minimal, yeah, bare, bare minimum, bare minerals <laughs> uh, powder. And I'm going in with, like, um... I don't know what those brushes are called. Maybe, yeah, I think they're concealer brushes. No, I don't know what that type of brush is called, but I'm going in, obviously you see that I set it in my face and then I'm reapplying powder under my eyes. So I only went under the concealer once, but I do go over with the powder a couple of times. And I just feel like that helps my concealer stay super matte all day. And it just gives me like a super brining under eye that I go for when I do my makeup and I am contouring with the Too Faced honestly don't like this um, bronzer or whatever it's super patchy and it barely ever looks good like the war the colors are really golden and warm but I'm definitely looking for a better bronzer. If you guys have any suggestions, that would be dope. And then, yeah, I'm going in and I'm kind of like setting in the under of the concealer so it doesn't look too patchy because I said this stuff is patchy, so I kind of have to do this. And then I'm going in with some blush. I think that's also from Too Faced. Using this big powder, just wipe up all the set powder and I always blend everything to my neck everything to my neck I feel like blending everything to your neck takes like 10 years off of you and then I'm wiping off my lips because ew and I'm using this milk limp plumper I think it just came out um honestly I don't know where I did after this video I don't know where it went and right now I'm kind of just measuring to see if my eyelashes need to be cut or not. Most of the time I don't cut them. I really like a big lash. And yeah, I put the, put the glue like directly on my eye, but not on my lashes. I just put it like on the top of my lid. Um, and I always use black, black um, glue liner. And then boom, that Too Faced setting spray, the hungover whatever one. I've had it forever. I'm just really like, I want to get new makeup. So if you guys have any suggestions, I know that Too Faced is super problematic. And then that lip is from Fenty Beauty. They have the best glosses in my opinion right now. They're just so soft and they look so good. They're so warm. I used to hate buying like drugstore glosses or lip stuff and it just looks so crazy on me. But uh, Fenty Beauty is definitely, they definitely know what they're doing with those glosses. And then I'm going in and just kind of fixing my eyebrows again. And then I'm taking this from this hair strainer from the dry bar. You can also get this at Sephora. Super good strainer. Definitely recommend buying it. And I'm just kind of putting some curls in my hair so it frames my face. Just a little, you know. And this is actually the only straightener that I actually could figure out how to curl my hair with. 
and I literally mean that I could never really curl my hair with a straightener before except for this one and then boom I think we're done yep and that's kind of like my everyday makeup routine you know I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching um I can't wait to keep making content for you guys making more videos um let me know what you guys would like to see okay bye